everyone. Today I'm doing a tutorial on products I feel have a dual purpose. And they're just products I use all the time. So, I mean, maybe you have different products you use all the time. I'd love to hear y'all's comments on what products you feel have a dual purpose. But before I start that, I had a viewer ask to see my bangs because she liked my bangs. And pretty much, let me name my brush. Right now, they aren't styled the way I'd like them to be. They're kind of just messy and kind of, I had styled them just to be to the side. But if you can see, the edges are kind of longer on either side and it goes into a point. And the bottom layer is a bit shorter than the top layer so that it wouldn't be in my eyes as much. And from here, I know you can't really tell from this right here, you can't see what it really looks like unless it's styled. So I'm gonna have a picture put up on my blog later. I'm thinking probably tomorrow or the day after of what my bangs look like just um, after I style them and they look good. And then um, in a few weeks, I'm thinking, or when my bangs finally grow, I'm gonna do do a tutorial on what um, on how to trim your bangs. You know, because I don't, I'm not gonna spend a gazillion dollars to go to a salon to have my bangs cut when I can just do it myself. And so my mom will probably be helping me because she can see my bangs better than me. Anywho, so that is that. Be looking at my blog for my picture. I'll have my if you already don't know the name of my blog. I'll have it in my description box so y'all can check it out later. Anywho, along to my double life products. The first one I am doing is hair and conditioner. This one is the Tresemme anti-breakage for split ends because I have serious issues with battling split ends. But anyways, so you can use it for your hair, but I like to use it to shave with. I mean, some people might think that's weird that I shave my legs with um, conditioner, but I think it saves money on, I buy a big bottle of this, and it saves me money because I'm shaving with my conditioner instead of having to go buy shaving cream or something like that for my legs, or gel, or whatever it's called. Anyways, so I use my conditioner, and it works great. My legs stay smooth, and I don't get any cuts. I don't know. I love it. I use it all the time. It's just an idea for what y'all might want to use in the future. Okay. Next I have Germex. Now, some people might already use this, like my other products that I'm mentioning, and I use it for everything, to clean everything. It is a miracle worker for me. I had this pen mark on my purse and it would not come off. Soap, water, all these different types of wipes, it would not come off. I put Germix on it, it came out like that. It was ridiculous, but it worked amazing. And this one smells like lavender, which is even better. So definitely have Germix on hand at all times. That's just me, because germaphobe. Okay, not like psycho germaphobe, but ew. Anyway, Germ Germix, great. Next on my list, now, this is a product that people will use. It's the Tresemme Fresh Start for your hair. Like, so for a second day hair, if you have kind of a greasy issue going on, spray some in, rub, let it set for a little bit, brush it out, and it's great. But sometimes you're not always gonna have this. You're gonna run out, or maybe you just don't wanna buy it. So my dual purpose, hold on. My dual purpose product is baby powder. Now this one is the Johnson's baby powder, which is the best in lavender and chamomile, which obviously you can tell I like lavender. It smells really nice. And it does a great job, but if you have dark, dark hair, like obviously like me, it's probably not the, uh, I mean, it works great, but sometimes if you don't get all the powder out, your hair looks gray. And that's kind of not attractive. So, what you can do is I also use face powder, a really dark face powder to cover up the greasies, and I use a brush like this, just a simple angled brush that I got from e.l.f. I like the way it applies on my hair. And it's really great. Let's see, this is the Milani Minerals in Natural Tan. I really like it. You just dust them on. Oops, that was too much. And then you just go in like that. Now, if that isn't enough powder for you, what you can do 
Go in first with the baby powder. Rub it, rub it in as much as you can. Try to get it out of the gray stage, but if there's still kind of a slight gray stage going on, go with the face powder on top of it to cover up the gray, the grayness going on because this is not, it works great, but this really does work miracles. So, layer. Next, I have, I use a face scrub. I love using a face scrub. It, my skin always feels wonderful afterwards. And the one I use is the Saint Eyes Apricot Scrub. Okay, just leaked on my hand. Sorry about that. Anyway, so this one is great. I love the scent and it feels great on my skin. And my, my dual purpose for this is some people go spend a million dollars for, for um, creams and scrubs for their hands. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Obviously, if you've noticed that, I'm not, I like dual purpose products. I rub this on your hands, has not, like when I put some on my hands, oh my, on my hands, oh, excuse me. When I put some on my face, the little bit I have left on my hands, I rub it, I rub it in real nice, and then I just let it set for a little bit, and then I rinse it off, and my hands feel so smooth afterwards, it's amazing. And then I always go in with maybe some lotion afterwards, like after I, get, after I finish washing my face and such. So, definite, definite wonderful product right here. All right, now I'm gonna just use a couple others, just, this is makeup, and this one's L'Oreal in Taffeta, and it's just a pink, hold on, let me see if I can open it. Oops, a pink eyeshadow, hope you can see that very fair but it can also go in as a, a highlighter and I love it I can use it on my eyebrows like right underneath I go in right here I can use it on my cheeks it you don't have to just use it on your eyes you can use it on your cheeks wherever you want it's a little bit of a highlighter I love it and it doesn't have to be this one it can be any eyeshadow that's light that's like a highlighter you can pop it just pop it on your cheeks saves you money on buying just a specific highlighter if you don't want to go you spend that extra money now the last one that i have is a lipstick now with the lipstick you can of course apply it on your lips but you can also if you really like the color and it you have been looking for a blush in that color definite good idea to whip this out you can either put it on your finger or you can just put it directly on like this and just rub it in. Kind of like a cream blush. Hope you can see that. It's very light, but it has kind of a reddish tone with a little bit of pink. I really like I really like this color. And this is a creme sheen lipstick called Crosswires by MAC. Love the color. I'll show it again. This is the color. Really pretty. Anywho. So yeah, you can use all of these products with, that have a dual purpose and they're wonderful. I love all of them. And I'm sure there's like a million others out there. These are just the ones I use. And you know, maybe someone out there will show me another one and I'll be like, oh, you have to try this one. So you know, you know, be prepared for the future. And I would love if y'all would definitely leave me a comment saying what product you use that can be ha that has a dual purpose because that would give me ideas maybe give someone else an idea who knows so start a whole chain of things anywho that is all for today just a quick video on products I love that have a dual purpose so definitely tune in again and I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say I don't think so. Anywho, if you want to see my bangs again, go to my blog. It'll be in my description box. All right. Thanks again. Bye.